In this video, I'm going to show you a hidden trade setup inside of Starbucks. This setup triggers every single year and it's fueled by the holiday drink frenzy. In fact, I've built a back tester to help give you some exact stats on how this entire process works. Now, this isn't the first time we're talking about this concept. I made a video about the same idea last year, so 2022, in which we studied three different patterns. So let me give you a quick recap so I can bring you up to speed. First off, the hypothesis that we're testing is this question right down here. Do Starbucks holiday drinks lead to an increase in the stock price of Starbucks? So basically, can you use the holiday drink frenzy to participate in this appreciation in the underlying? Now, to help answer that question, we tested three different scenarios. One, what happens when you buy at the beginning of November, which is when they announce their holiday drinks, and you hold all the way through Jan 31st of next year, the following year. The second scenario is what happens if you still buy the same time, November 1st, but you get out at the end of the year instead. And finally, scenario three is what if you wait for the holiday drink frenzy to be behind you and you buy at the beginning of January and you hold just through February. So in all three of these scenarios, you should notice there's P&L numbers, there's probabilities, and there's total trades. Now, total trades is the same because, again, this setup, we're looking every single year. It occurs every single year when they announce their holiday drink period. So last year, we had 30 data points. Now, we take a look at the probability. We can see that the January to February option is really the least desirable. It doesn't have a positive P&L, and it's basically a 50-50 shot. Now, if we compare November 1st to the end of January to the end of December, we can see the end of December has a much higher P&L. Same probability, but we can see January actually eats a little bit more into the profits. So that end trade idea that we had was buying November 1st, selling December 31st to play this overall idea of an appreciation with the holiday drink period. Now, if we come into the charts, let me show you the back tester first. It's a few simple lines of code. We detailed out each of our three scenarios here. And all the scenario takes is month checks here. So we were checking, is it November, December, January, November and December, or January and February? Now, the scenario I have plugged into the back tester is number two, which is the one that we're going to be looking at. The one where you buy at the beginning of November and you sell at the end of December. Now, if we take a look at this back tester on our charts, this was last year's activity. And this is kind of what we're looking for. By at the beginning of November, we see this appreciation kick into full gear as more and more media comes out, social media posts, etc., etc., about holiday drinks. Everyone starts to get their fix. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas, and we're selling right when December 31st happens. So last year, we saw this strategy work out fairly nicely. This year, we are already gapping up off of earnings, so maybe any kind of this gap fill, maybe near that 95 mark, is a better entry price. It looks a little too rich up here, near what I would expect to be resistance. However, this entire back tester is fueling our bias to the long side. We're looking for a better opportunity to buy. Now, if I right click and I click show report, there's a few things that I'd like to call out. First off, we see 31 orders, so one additional compared to what we had last year, so one additional data point. The P&L number has grown, and it's grown as a result of a successful last year, which was a pretty nice winner. We're also on a nice win streak here. The last time the strategy didn't work was 2015, and before then was 2013. So with all of this in mind, if we come back to the charts of Starbucks, we can see here that we have a positive bias on the back of this overall holiday drink frenzy. We expect this strategy to continue working. It's been on a nice win streak. However, this gap up is a little too rich for me, and I expect a little bit of resistance right here. So a gap fill would be what I'm looking at. If I load in the market pulse indicator now, we can see that the market pulse is all the way down here near 94.57 at the current moment. Now, I expect that market pulse to catch up, but you might be able to use something like that as a very simple cue as to where you'd like to enter on a pullback to participate in this overall Starbucks holiday drink idea. I hope you found this video useful for those of you that do like to trade Starbucks and for those of you that enjoy holiday drinks. I think it's a fun way to try and potentially pay for the holiday drinks that you consume this period. 
Take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and I'll see you in our next update.